Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show two things, specifically working with the Microsoft Excel VBA environment. Number one, what I'm going to show is how to find the very last row that has data in Microsoft Excel. And the next thing that I'm going to show, that which would be the second thing, is going to be how you can find the next empty space or the next empty cell when you're working with a vertical list. So this really is going to be focusing on column A, so let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to my Developers tab and go to Record Macro and I'm just going to call this Macro Find Last Row and hit OK or Enter and I'm going to do Stop Recording. Only reason why I did this was just to create, have the system create a macro and so now we have Find, la find Last Row and I'm going to go on and select Edit and again what we're going to do is find the very last row in column A and we're going to display what row number that is. So we're working with sheet 1. So we're going to do last row in column A is equal to sheet 1 dot range. So you have to pick the column and how far down you want Excel to look. So in this case I'm going to just put it to 99,999. So that's the row number. And then we're going to do end I need to close it out. Make sure you put double quote and close it out. End. And it's going to be Excel up. And you can have it either display the address or the row. So I'll do both real quick just to show you what this does. So if I also play this out, it's going to tell us A55. A55 is the last cell that has a value in it in the Excel workbook. Now if I also put an empty space here and just do test and then test 2, it should give us A58 because it's, it's not looking for the next empty space, it's only looking for the last cell in column A that has a value in it. So if I run that macro, find last row, it's giving us A58. If we just want the row number, just change the address to, it should be dot row, and then go on and hit run the macro or hit F5 to play it from the Visual Basic environment and they'll tell us row 58. So that was the first thing I was going to demonstrate. The next thing I'm going to, I'm going to show is going to be finding the very first empty space in column A. So I'm going to call this find next empty cell and hit OK and hit start recording and I'm going to do find next empty cell, select edit Go on and delete the comments. Now what we're going to do here is do row number is equal to 1. That's the starting point that I want to give it. So actually what I should do is do row number is equal to 0. And we're going to do do, do events. And what we're going to do is increment row number by 1. Row number is equal to row number plus 1. Item in review is equal to sheet one dot range and we'll do a and the row number and what we're going to do is loop until and you want to do loop until item in review is equal to nothing and then we'll do message box row number and if we play this code find next empty cell run It'll tell us 56 is the is the next empty spot. So if we look at that, showing that 56 is the next empty cell, and just kind of show you what this is doing. This is just uh, what's called a do loop, or it's gonna continue looping until a certain condition is met. So all we're doing is going row number one by one in column A, and we're starting with row number one. And the way you know that we assigned the row number to equal the value 0 and we're doing row number is equal to row number plus 1 and so it's going to loop until the item in review is equal to nothing and this so in this case when it's on row 1 we see that there is a value so it's going to it goes back to the top row number is equal to row number plus 1 since we were at 1 right now now it's doing 1 plus 1 we're now on, on row number 2 so this will continue until we find the next empty spot
if we wanted it to find the second empty spot, then what we would have to do is just copy and paste the same code. Don't reset the row number because that way it just continues where we started off at. So in this case, it was 56. And so if we run this code again, find next empty cell, it should give us 59. And there you have it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.